Good morning world, good morning Philippines, and good morning socialista. I am Christian, your exhibitor master. I welcome you to explore and learn the political structure of Brunei. The nation of Brunei is also known as the abode of peace. Brunei is founded by Awang Ala Tatar and later known as Sultan Muhammad Shah. Brunei allied with the Japanese Majapahit Kingdom from 13th to 15th century. It came under Hindu influence. In the early 15th century, with the decline of the Majapahit Kingdom and widespread conversion to Islam, Brunei became an independent sultanate. Brunei is a country located on the north coast of the island of Borneo in Southeast Asia. Apart from its coastline with South China Sea, the country is completely surrounded by the insular Malaysian state of Sarawak. Brunei is the only sovereign state completely on the island of Borneo. The remainder of the island's territory is divided between the nations of Malaysia and Indonesia. As of 2022, Brunei's population was 445,431. The government is an absolute monarchy under the Sultan, which implements a combination of English common law and Sharia law, as well as direct general Islamic practices. The current Sultan of Brunei is Hassan al-Balkia, and he is one of the last absolute monarch in the world. Like some of its neighbor countries, Brunei is also colonized. Maritime state was visited by Spain's Magellan expedition in 1521 and fought against Spain in the 1578 Castilian War. In 1888, Brunei became a British proctory and was assigned a British resident as colonial manager in 1906. After the Japanese occupation during World War II in 1559, a new constitution was written. Brunei gained its independence from the United Kingdom on January 1, 1984. The official national day which celebrates the country's independence is held by tradition on February 23. Government of Brunei In order to understand the government of Brunei, we must look back at its history. For a hundred of years, Brunei had been ruled by the sultans. However, beginning in the 1500s, the control of Brunei was balanced between European countries during the colonialism. The last to retain control was the Britain. In 1954, Britain agreed to let go of the Brunei after a period of time, and in 1984, Brunei was officially independent. The history of Brunei influenced its government. Today, mixing in the sultans and a westernized form of government, Brunei is currently ruled under the absolute monarchy. This means that one person contains absolute control over the nation. In this case, the person with the power is called the sultan. However, this does not mean that the sultan makes decisions completely by himself. Instead, he is advised by four councils that he has appointed to help him in different areas of the government. Apakabar! I am Ivajoy Urido and today we're going to talk about four councils that help the sultan to make decisions in Brunei. Let's go! Brunei has four councils, the Privy Council, Council of Succession, Religious Council, and the Council of Ministers. Let's start with Privy Council. It consists of senior government officials and royal family. This council has three main jobs. First is to exercise the acts of mercy 
This can be mean that he can pardon someone for a committed crime. Second one is to recommend any changes made to the constitution. And lastly, the council helps the sultan in giving ranks of position and on road mentions to the citizens. The second one is council of succession. This council is not part of the daily work of the sultan because it is used to determine who will be the next in life for citizenship. However, this job is still extremely important. The third council is a religious council also known as Brunei Islamic Religious Council. This group is responsible for creating policies pertaining to Brunei's main religion, Islam. Lastly is the Council of Ministers. This is perhaps the most important council. This committee consists of nine people including the Sultan. These nine ministers are responsible for making sure that parts of the country are functioning. As the law enforces on Brunei, the judicial branch controls the courts. Brunei closely follows the judicial system inherited by the British, utilizing a dual court system or having two different sets of courts. Yet, one handled criminal cases and the other handled civil cases. Courts in Brunei use a hierarchy structure as well, just like we can see in many countries such as their own. In addition, the majority of Brunei's law are based off of the English law. The lowest rung of the courts is a common law court which uses magistrate or uses magistrates to control the courts. These magistrates are all local Brunei citizens who are appointed by the government. Above the common law courts are the intermediate courts, which are set up as a training for the court judges. These lower courts hear cases do not carry out the death sentence. The next level is the Supreme Court, which is composed of the High Court and the Court of Appeals. The High Court contains three judges that hear cases after the Court of Appeals listens to the final appeals. There is also another system of courts in Brunei called the Sharia courts. These courts exclusively deal with civil matters such as the Muslim divorce. The dual court system combined with the hierarchy structure provides the judicial branch the proper tools to successfully enforce Brunei's law. Although Brunei is completely on a different hemisphere, they contain many differences yet similarities on senior governments. Differences are aware of much of the power lies at the Sultan. However, the similarities is how the power is being structured. Before we proceed to the voting system of Brunei or on how Brunei elect their day leaders, we'll going to talk about this short introduction or short background about Brunei. Brunei alongside with the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia is located in the Southeast Asian region and Brunei is a small country but rich in resources, financial, people and politics. Brunei is a uh, as a government which included the absolute monarchy alongside with the Pew and other country located in Asia with the invasion of United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland with the head of state or the king and queen. Uh, we have the Sultan or Sultanato in Brunei which has the executive power and it is called the head of the state or head of the government. The voting system in Brunei is different from democratic or republic country due to the use of voting machines or pens. In Brunei, uh, the Sultan or the Sultanato elected or choose their leaders from their offspring or through marriage. And the Brunei is one of the smallest country but rich in power and culture. The Sultan of Brunei comes from a family line that dates back over 600 years to 1405 when the first Sultan ascended the throne. Let us discuss the different rulers in Brunei from the past. Number one is Muhammad Shah, also known as Awang Alak Bitatar, was the first Sultan and was the first Muslim ruler of Brunei. He ruled Brunei from 1368 to 1402 and prior to conversion to Islam. Next one is Ahmad. He was the second Sultan of Brunei. He ascended the throne in 1402 and changed his name to Awang Pati Burbai. Sharif Ali is the third Sultan of Brunei of Arab descent, originating from Taif, Saudi Arabia. He was a very pious ruler and was nicknamed Sultan Birgad or Blessed Sultan. Sulaiman was the fourth um, Sultan of Brunei, ruling from 1432 until his abdication in 1485 to allow his son Bulkia to become Sultan and later on, Bulkia, also known as Nakhoda Raga, was the fifth Sultan of Brunei and ruled for Brunei from 1485 to 1524. Abdul Kahar was the sixth Sultan of Brunei. He ruled from 1524 until his stepping down from the throne in 1530. Saiful Raha was the seventh um, Sultan of Brunei. He ruled from 1530 from the until or from the abdication of his uncle until his death in 1581. Shah Birunai was the eighth Sultan of Brunei who ruled only a year. He ascended the throne in 1581 on the death of his father, Sultan Saiful Rihal. Muhammad Hassan was the ninth Sultan of Brunei. He reigned from 1582 to 1598. Abdul Hanilul Akbar was the 10th Sultan of Brunei. He succeeded his father Muhammad Hassan in 1598 and ruled his death 
until his death in um, 1659. Abdul Halilul Habar was the 8th or 11th Sultan of Brunei. He ruled only for a year from 1659 to 1660. Muhammad Ali was the 12th Sultan of Brunei. He ruled from 1660 until he was garroted by his successor Abdul Anhakul Mubin in 1661. Abdul Hakul Mubin was the 13th Sultan of Brunei. He was involved in the civil or the Brun Brunei civil war. He ruled from 1661 to 1673 after killing Sultan Muhammad Ali. And Muhaydin was the 14th Sultan of Brunei. He ruled from 1673 to 1690 and was succeeded by Nasruddin. Hello, I am Christian and let's get to know the second half or the 15th Sultan up to the present Sultan of Brunei. Nasruddin was the 15th Sultan who introduced gold coins during his reign in 1690 to 1710. Husin Kamaluddin was the 16th Sultan who ruled in 1710 to 1730. Muhammad Alauddin was the 17th Sultan who ruled from 1730 until his death in 1737. Omar Ali Saifuddin I is the son of Alauddin and was the 18th Sultan from 1737 until his abdication in favor of his eldest son Muhammad Tajuddin in 1778. Muhammad Tajuddin was the 19th Sultan ascended in 1778 to 1804 and was twice abdicated. Muhammad Hamanul Alam I was 20th Sultan who ruled Brunei in 1804 to 1807. He was the 20th Sultan of Brunei who did not rule for long but his descendants continue to this day. Muhammad Kazil Alam I was the 21st Sultan of Brunei, the son of Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin I and ascended to the throne from 1807 until 1826. The 22nd Sultan Muhammad Alam ruled in 1826 to 1828 and then was known as the King of Fire. Omar Ali Saifuddin II was the 23rd Sultan, then known as the Bruneian Empire and ruled in 1828 to 1852. Abdul Mumin was the 24th Sultan from 1852 until his death on 29th of May 1885. He was the son-in-law of the previous Sultan Umar Ali Saifuddin II. Hashim Halilul Alam Akamadin was the 25th Sultan. He ruled Brunei from May 1885 to May 1906. Sultan Hashim was the son of Omar Ali Saifuddin II. Muhammad Hamalul Alam II was the 26th Sultan. He ascended to the throne in 1906 when he was only 17 years old. He ruled Brunei until his sudden death in 1924 due to malaria. Ahmad Tajuddin was only 11 years old when he ascended the throne in 1924 and became the 27th Sultan of Brunei. His rule ended in 1950. Omar Ali Saifuddin III was the 20th 28th Sultan, revered as the architect of modern Brunei, succeeded his brother Sultan Ahmad Tajuddin II in 1950 when Brunei was a British protectorate up until 1967. Hassan al-Bolkea is the present and the 29th Sultan of Brunei for more than five decades since 1967. To know more about him, Juvi Paliso, your turn. Hello guys, again I am Chubi Tamadong Patiso and welcome back to our YouTube channel and for today's video we are going to talk about the longest ruler in Brunei. Let's watch this. The longest ruler in Brunei is Sultan Hassan al Bolkiah, also known as the Nakoda Rokong, was the fifth Sultan of Brunei. He ascended the throne upon the abdication of his father, Sultan Sulaiman, and the rule of Brunei from 1485 to 1584. His reign marked the golden age of Brunei, and saw the Sultanate become the superpower of the Malay archipelago. Bolkiah frequently traveled abroad to gain new ideas for the development of the country, as well as seeking suggestions from his warrior ship. It is said that his name was given by his father after the Ba'alawi Saint Clan Ba'alawahiya, who gave control over much of the Yemeni kingdom of Had Harumal. The Sultan of Renai, Hassan al Bolkiah, is one of the largest, longest reigning and few remaining absolute monarchs. He was crowned in August 1968 following the abdication of his father, Sir Hadi Omar al Saputo. Upon Brunei independence in 1984, he appointed himself Prime Minister and in 1991 introduced an ideology called Malay State Monarchy which presented the monarch as the defender of the king. He is one of the world's richest individual and in a country where the standard of living is high, appeared to enjoy genuine popularity among his objects. More recently, however, he has faced criticism over the introductions of Islamic Sharia law in the country. 